Hi, welcome back to Battleship Cove, preserving the fleet here. And we're going to be talking today about one of our esteemed members of our yacht club here, the USS Lionfish. She was commissioned in November of 1943 and now resides here as part of our exhibit. We're going to be looking at work being done to preserve this ship and restore it and keep her looking like a World War II submarine as well as keeping people on board safe. And today, Brian Renton is going to be taking us on a tour of the project to help restore lionfish. Morning, Brian. Good morning, Tom. Thank you. So, lionfish is an 83-plus-year-old Baleo-class submarine. And as you can see, we have some structural issues here aft. So, we decided it was time to replace the aft section of the deck. We have removed a lot of the structural members. We have also removed some of the induction piping underneath and some of the other piping, which is no longer functional, which we are preserving. And we will probably recreate some of those connections at some point in the future. What you can see going on now is we have put bilge paint and primer onto our pressure hull to protect the steel of the pressure hull. We're rebuilding the framing for the deck, and in the next few weeks, we will actually replace the remainder of the aft section of the deck, put a new row on board, and then we'll be reopening lionfish. But this is a really interesting overview of what's underneath the superstructure of the sub and what's down below. We'll include some overviews you can see on the aft starboard side some of the remaining original steel the perforations right where that red cord is and then you can also see on the pressure hull some of the access points that they use to lower equipment into the torpedo room and the maneuvering room and you can see how we're coated all of the structural members the frames with two-part epoxy so we're going to prevent rust in the future both on the pressure hull and on the structural members and we're going to continue this process going forward in sections as budget and time allow. The goal is keeping the boat open. Unfortunately, in this section, we had to remove our brow for access to the boat, but we're in the process of reconstructing. You can see all the structural cross members that we're building to maintain the integrity of the platform going forward and to prevent us having to rebuild this in the future. All right, Brian, thank you very much for all the information. It's good to keep tabs on what's going on here and keeping you up to date on what we're doing here trying to preserve the fleet. Now, you can help out as well. The ship is always looking for volunteers, people who would really be interested in coming down and giving a hand, taking care of the ship, or donating money to the causes. You can like, share, and subscribe, or come on down to work, or Point us in the right direction of people we should be talking to or help we can get from different places. Because Battleship Cove is always in need of help. This is the way we keep the fleet, your fleet, preserved so that you, as Americans and people around the world, can come and visit our ships and see the history and the heritage that is part of Battleship Cove. The Lionfish is a great ship. I want to thank you again, Brian. Tom, I want to correct you. The Lionfish is a boat proper term but well <laughs> actually actually that's another debate for next time because that's a, that'll be our we, next next discussion point but take care of our boat our battleship and our destroyer thank you very much take care have a good day